Now we're going to do operations in functions. Yesterday we learned how to read these. If I'm looking at G, I'm going to be looking at this operation. If I'm looking at H, I'm doing this. For today, I'm going to ask you guys to do G plus H of 5. In reality, what I'm asking is G of 5 plus H of 5. First of all, let's find out what's G of 5. G of 5, I'm going to do it up here. G of 5 is negative 4 times 5 minus 5, which is negative 20 minus 5. So we're going to say that's negative 25. So G of 5 is negative 25. Now, let me find out what's H of 5. I have negative 5 minus 5. We can call that negative 10. So I'm doing negative 25 plus a negative 10. I'm doing G of 5 plus H of 5, which I'm going to call negative 35. Similar thing for number 8. Here we're doing h of 4 minus g of 4. Let me find out what's h of 4 to begin with. h of 4, I have 4 to the 3rd minus 2 times 4 squared. And a 4 to the 3rd is 64 minus 2 times 16. I had to do the square before I multiplied. So I have 64 minus 32, which we're just going to call 32. So h of 4 is 32 minus, let me find out what g of 4 is. g of 4 is 2 times 4 plus 4. So I have a plus 4, better known as 12. So now here I have 32 minus 12, which I'm just going to call 20. Now, looking at this other one, we're going to be doing multiplication. f of g of 4 is the same thing as saying how much is f of 4 times g of 4. Let me figure out what f of 4 is. I have 2 times 4 plus 1, 8 plus 1. So f of 4 is 9. Let me find out g of 4 is negative 3 times 4 plus 1, that is negative 12 plus 1. So g of 4 is equal to negative 11. So my question here is, how much is 9 times negative 11? I'm going to put it inside parentheses. 9 times negative 11, I'm going to call that negative 99. And lastly, let's take a look at question number 10. Here I have h over g. Fractions, we know those mean division. h over g of negative 6. So that's the same thing as h of negative 6 divided by g of negative 6. Let me find out what h of negative 6 is. I have 4 times negative 6 minus 5. That's negative 24 minus 5. So h of negative 6 is negative 29. Now let me see what g of negative 6 is. I have negative 2 times negative 6 squared minus 4. So I have a negative 2 times 36, because I did the square first, minus 4. That gives me negative 72 minus 4, which we're just going to call negative 76. So my question here it is, how much is negative 29 over negative 76? If we can simplify the fractions, by all means do so. Uh, in this case, we cannot, but at least let me get rid of the negative signs, because two negative signs make a positive. I'm just going to call this 29 over 76. And this is how I will type the fraction. If the fraction becomes a whole number, obviously type in the whole number. But in this case, it becomes a fraction.